what is what do you think is the right framework for America first for policy to approach the question of legal immigration? And I'll give you one more piece of backdrop by, from which I asked that question. We sometimes use the vehemence of our shared opposition to illegal immigration, like all conservatives and even many other non-conservatives do, are vehemently opposed to illegal immigration on grounds that it's a violation of the rule of law, which of course it is. But we use the vehemence of our shared opposition to illegal immigration to obfuscate, and if we're being perfectly honest, you know, even sweep under the rug some deep-seated disagreements that I think we actually do have on the right about what the proper legal immigration policies ought to be. I have my own views of what the goals of our legal immigration policies ought to be, and I can share those with you, but I first want to hear yours, right? What do you think constitutes proper America first immigration policy when it comes to reforming our legal immigration system without necessarily delving into our ritual rejections and, and uh, you know, condemnations of illegal immigration, which we do too often? Yep. So uh, I draw my views from the great reactionary sage Ann Coulter, who wrote a, <laughs> a few a few years ago, wrote, quote, legal immigration has costs. Immigrants with relatively low education and skills may compete for jobs and public services with the most vulnerable of Americans, particularly those who are unemployed or underemployed. Jobs generated by immigrants' businesses do not always address this problem. Concentrated and or rapid entry of legal immigrants into a locality may impose immediate net costs, particularly in education funding, et cetera, et cetera. So um, actually, that was not Ann Coulter, as you can imagine, because the, the pros should have given it away. It was so uh, kind of wonky. Yeah. But it was it was a Democrat. It was Barbara Jordan, who was a member of Congress in a uh, uh, from the from Texas, she was a protege of Lyndon B. Johnson, uh, the first African American woman le uh, elected to the Texas State Legislature since Reconstruction, and the uh, the first African American member of con woman female con member of Congress uh, uh, since Reconstruction as well. So. Uh, what I'm trying to suggest is that I, I'm not that, shocked. That doesn't that that sounds like that sounds like a perfectly consistent Democrat view. Well, it know, was in the I'm 90s. Not shocked by it that. was yeah. in the as as recently as the as the yeah. 90s or early 2000s, you would hear someone like her or or Paul Krugman. Actually, you, there are <laughs> there are immigration mm -hmm. restrictionist columns by Paul Krugman, which I've pointed it out to him, you know, because I, I do this immigration or even thing. like Bernie Sanders for that matter, who well, ran of course, for president. I, Bernie Sanders as was as the last of them. You know? As recently as yeah. 2015, he was saying stuff like this. As but recently he, as 2020, even maybe a little bit, you know, when he ran. I mean, I was recently as as 2016. That's right. In 2020, when he yeah, supported in 2020, Biden, they bullied. Maybe, they bullied the yeah. left the kind of progressive wing bullied Sanders into adopting to shut the, up a little bit. Yeah. to shut up. Yeah. On this issue. 